So today I want to show this program called Mineways that uh, I've been working on the past month or so. It's a free open source program that basically is a little sort of bridge between Minecraft and Shapeways or really any 3D printer. Um, or it's also a bridge really between Blender and, uh, and Minecraft. The idea is that what it does is you pick a chunk of the world and you can uh, export any piece of the any piece of your world into a, uh, a 3D file. So to start with, there's this program Minotaur, and that's what I used as the basis of uh, this interface. So Minotaur, what that does is a little interactive mapping program by Sean Kaysen, who uh, it's also open source, and I really appreciate that he put it up for open source because it made my work a lot easier. And uh, then you, my piece is that you basically select a chunk of the world and you export it. So then there's the scary dialogue. Ignore the scary dialogue. Uh, what that's done is generate two files. One is this texture file, and the other one is a, a VRML file in this case, because that's what Shapeways likes for color files. And here's the VRML file. So that's what we just exported. You can see a lot of little details. Might not print with this much detail, but you can see all the details like the ladder there. So once you feel good about hey, that looks like a fine model, I want to I want to print that in Shapeways. And all you do is zip them up, so, like so. And now I have a zip file, and I go to Shapeways. And I go to Create, Upload, choose that file. And that's basically the whole process is uh, it'll upload and it takes a few seconds for it to, to read in the whole file. And now it's uploaded. And now I just wait. Basically, Shapeways now will just go and uh, check that file for consistency and so on. The whole point of Mineways is that it both exports, but it also works pretty hard to go and uh, try to clean up the model as much as it can. Occasionally it'll fail. Once in maybe 20 times or so, Shapeways will say, no, no, there's something wrong with this file. But uh, for the most, and I've, I've never quite figured out what it is that, what, that's gone wrong. But for the most part, these files will come in just fine. Here's a bunch of things that I've exported and uh, put up just for fun. And uh, we'll come back in a minute when the file's ready. Ah, well, I didn't have to wait much of a minute. I just uh, clicked it right away, and there it is. So there's our file, and uh, you can now go in and edit. You can do things like, you know, allow other people to download the mesh to go check it out. You can put it up for sale and uh, offer it to others. Um, in this case, I've output to this color sandstone material. So the uh, the deal with that is that that stuff's not so strong, and so you have to kind of print it um, at a at a place where, uh, let's see, let's just go down there and pick it. So basically that material is such that um, the resolution of it is is such that you have to kind of print it big. Uh, so it's going to cost you, you know, maybe 25 bucks for this model. Um, but the eventual result is you get something like this. Uh, this is one that I made for a friend and sent to, sent to them for Christmas. And uh, it came up pretty good. This is a different style, actually. You can see that I, I've made the torches blocks because I, I like that effect. Um, the one that I showed had textures on it. Anyway, that's about it. I hope you have a good time with it. It's open source, uh, so you can go in and modify it to your heart's content if you have features you want to add and so on. Um, or let me know. If, uh, if I have the time, I'll try to put a feature in. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun sort of figuring out the puzzles of how to get from Minecraft to Shapeways. And, uh, and I'm also having fun now pulling out pieces of our world and uh, making them and sending them off to people for, uh, for presents. So anyway, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye now.